Hey, Rimbo here, how you doing? Um, at the Ducati dealership and today I am extending my warranty on my Ducati Multistrada V4 Pikes Peak. Uh, here in the United States, I have about 15, 16,000 miles on the bike right now. I didn't use it as much as I did the previous V4S, but um, so to extend it for two years, uh, bumper to bumper, no change, exact same factory warranty from Ducati, was $910 US and for me I know that one bad trip in here with something going wrong so for me to buy two more years for 910 bucks I thought that was a pretty good deal with uh, Ducati especially to have the same factory warranty the no deductible kind of situation so I thought that was pretty good um, gonna have a video coming out soon uh, with the uh, Tech Air 7 uh, X that I finally got. I have to figure a little bit more on it. It fits really well. The heat has been pretty bad and I've had some health issues besides, uh, other than the uh, the accident that I had. My accident, I think I'm pretty much almost 100% right now to be quite honest with you uh, from the accident with the punctured lungs and the, and the punctured lung, one, plural, just one, and uh, the uh, five broken ribs and the shattered scapula uh, back there, that was it. But other than that, had some uh, cardiac issues uh, pop up with some heart arrhythmias, getting that all taken care of, has some uh, testing next week. But uh, it looks like the, the weather might be breaking finally here in Florida and getting under 90 regularly with the, hopefully the humidity will start going down because it's gonna be kind of tough riding out there with the Tech Air 7X and, um, you know, having that on in that kind of heat with that kind of humidity, it's just, it's just bad. So, uh, gonna be heading out on a bike soon. Gonna get that video out soon on the uh, Tech Air 7X, which again, I uh, got that from Revzilla. And um, I tried to get it here at the local dealer and their representative from um, Alpine Stars told them to tell me to just uh, put in for it and buy it directly from their website. I tried doing that, I never got an email. Um, but I did also put in for one at Revzilla. Revzilla contacted me first, so Revzilla came through on this. I'm kind of bummed out because I want to buy it from the dealer here, but I was unable to do so. Um, and so I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm not sure what's going on with the supply side of stuff as far as that's concerned. But uh, anyway, new warranty, uh, which means more than likely I'll be keeping the Pikes Peak. I was thinking about going over to the 2025 uh, no delivery dates yet, don't know when that's coming in. But for now, uh, if I do go to sell it, at least uh, for 50 bucks, I found out I can transfer the warranty to the next person. And that's about it. So I just wanted to check in with everyone, tell everyone that, you know, tell you folks that uh, I'm here. Uh, I didn't forget about this. I've just been tied up with a lot of stuff, you know, once I got, you know, uh, with work and, and uh, some other issue, other health issues that I had to work through, uh, uh, which means that the, the accident was the least of my worries from everything else. But uh, you know what? Uh, getting older isn't easy. It kind of sucks, uh, but shit happens. Uh, so hopefully the weather will break. I'll get out to Jennings soon, uh, get my RC390 out uh, on the track and have some fun with that and uh, get some better white riding weather here, especially wearing a Tech Air 7X uh, airbag from Alpine Stars uh, when I get back out on my Pikes Peak, which should be maybe tomorrow. Anyway, this is Rainbow. Please like, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.